you know, craftsmanship as a word. It's, it's being finely in tune with your craft. You put passion into every job you did. The products that people are getting, their shelving, their cabinets, whatever it is that we're manufacturing, it's of the utmost, the highest quality possible because someday that could even be an heirloom item. You're building something that could be passed down for generations. You have to understand that. Ultra Shelf started from a problem. And the problem was floating shelves are hard to build. And Chris Merrill experienced that. He had a job up in Jackson, Wyoming that had like 25 shelves. And so he decided, I'm going to make a simple solution for the floating shelf world. That's going to be easy for people that are doing it themselves to be able to install, also cabinet shops to, to be able to take advantage of the simplicity. Um, we started refining designs. We started doing more. And that was my aha moment of this is our new product. This is what's going to take us to the next level. Sarah's a little spitfire, a little ball of energy. They're both a ball of energy with passion. A ball of energy with passion. That is Chris Merrill. So I started in a cabinet shop when I was uh, about 12 years old. Me and my father went and we built Merrill Woodworking together as a new venture. And we specialized in service cabinet company, building residential, commercial, multifamily housing. You know, he really taught me those foundations and principles. Um, he came from a very struggling childhood and he learned to work very hard at a very young age. Kent is a solid person. He's yeah. somebody who grew up with li literally nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was no heat in their house. Yeah, I remember one of his biggest things that he'd always say is, I never want to be cold again. <laughs> that was always a big drive. When I met Chris, I don't think I, it was an underestimation for <laughs> the level that he would kind of push himself. The risk that he was willing to take was exciting to me as equally as stressful as it was. You know, you go, you get your paycheck, you put it in your 401k and you, <laughs> you just live your life and you go to Disneyland and that's all. <laughs> that, that was never a lifestyle I knew. <laughs> no, no, Chris, I don't know where Chris came from. I, his parents don't, where, don't know where Chris yeah, came from. Yeah, they don't know where I came from either. <laughs> I have always envisioned our company being significantly larger, which is really good, but can also be kind of bad. It can lead to some headbutting. You know, and as our company grew here, I think I kind of pushed him out of his comfort zone a little bit. A lot. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, there, was, there was a lot of butting of heads yeah. for a lot of years. There was a little bit of resistance from some family members, like his own father and other people that thought, no, that's not what we do. We build cabinets. We've done cabinets for years. I did cabinets. Your grandfather did cabinets. You do cabinets. Everybody thought I was crazy. <laughs> like, you're gonna start a, what a cute little idea. shelving company. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's taking one of the most difficult things in a cabinet manufacturing shop and being able to manufacture that piece and become highly efficient at it. Chris is a very visionary individual and he saw an opportunity and he knew, no, this, this is an opportunity that I should, I should not pass up and break out from what I've been doing my whole life and do something different. So when you get to a floating shelf, it sounds so simple. It's a board with holes in it. But as a cabinet shop, there's a lot of restrictions there. How do you drill a hole seven inches deep in a board and have it be straight? Drill presses don't do that. Um, you can't buy a machine that does that. 
And so you have to start getting creative. He had to develop a bracket. And the, the first bracket that was designed was pretty similar to every other bracket on the market. And there was like a pre-drill hole every few inches. But the problem with that was, was you can only put the shelf in certain places on the wall because you have to line up those holes with the studs. So Chris thought about it and he came up with what's called the stud lock design. Because now you can place your shelf where you want to, not where you have to. You put it wherever you want and it'll always hit a stud by having that hole every inch. I'm Sean Anderson. I work here at Ultra Shelf. I am the director of marketing and customer service and design. Do a lot of different things, wear a lot of different hats. Uh, I actually got my degree in fine art, but my first job out of college, a company hired me to do their, to run their e-commerce business. So I did that, I worked with that company for about six years, and that's where I gained my uh, experience. I had heard of Chris Merrill, I had never met him, so I came to him and asked him if he could mass produce this drawing board that I had designed. But in the process of talking to him, he was telling me about his floating shelf business, and I was really intrigued. Again, I didn't even know how trendy floating shelves was at the time. I could see that Chris Merrill is a genius with manufacturing, and if we could pair up my experience that I had in e-commerce and branding and design and with his product and his business of manufacturing these floating shelves, it would make a great uh, union and we could do some amazing things together. When I started here, there's just a small handful of us working in the, in the floating shelf side of the business and now we've grown it to over 50 employees. And that's what's exciting. And we have a phenomenal team now. Then there's Connor. He's the production manager, runs the, all the manufacturing. I am, I'm cousin to Sarah. And so I grew up with both Sarah and Chris and all of their married life. And so I got a call from him and he said, hey, I've got a little job that I, I think would be good for, both, for the both of us, and I'd like you to kind of work for me. Yeah, we would be, we would be lost without somebody yeah. like the Connor Barney that yeah. is so phenomenal and has such a big heart. One of the challenges in doing this is we're producing a large quantity of custom made things. So that's been definitely a challenge and we have a relatively short production time that we give people. And so it's definitely been a challenge but we're able to produce a large amount of shelves every day even though they're handmade. You don't build anything by yourself. You only build it when you have a giant team behind you or people willing to fill multiple roles behind you. We can't do it without them. No. We can't do it without them. So one of the things that sets us apart is craftsmanship. You know, we're ultra shelf, but in the bigger um, spectrum, are, we're ultra craftsmanship. We're all about craft, artisanship. And we're also developing other products right now that's coming out that we're using the skills of artists and craftsmen to build an array of other products as well. You know, if you're building a desk, you're not just building a desk, you're building something that could be passed down for generations. And being able to apply that into ultra shelf or into ultra craftsmanship as we continue to expand our product base, that's essential for our success. 
all of our products, our shelves are handmade. I mean, we're cutting each shelf. We sand them by hand. And it's always gonna be custom, handmade, high quality. We're gonna continue to have those foundations, those principles in each and every item we manufacture. Wow, look at you.